Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today, we are on day four, so we've officially crossed the threshold of the halfway point of an entire week of Glam Shop palettes. And for today, we are looking at another pastel palette, and this roughly translates to forget-me-nots, because they are all kind of shade names for flowers, but the way that you would pronounce it in Polish is Niezopominajka, and so we are going to jump right into this, and I have a feeling that several of you are going to be very excited about this, because there are definitely some purple shades in here. Nancy, I'm looking at you, my friend, because I know how much you love purple shades, but we have all of those going on. We also have some beautiful blues, some pinks, so we are just going to jump right into this guy immediately with the swatches, and then we're going to get into the eye look. And some of these shimmers, I'm already seeing something that looks definitely like a duochrome as I'm shifting around. So, very first shade is also the Nieza Pominaika shade, and it is a beautiful iridescent white shade, although it does look like it has either some pink or purple, or the camera says green or perhaps yellow. Uh, I am definitely seeing pink, purple, and blue. So, what I am gathering then is that this just has many shades within it. It is also definitely more of a chunky consistency. Actually reminds me very much so of the flaky glitters that you get from Copacetic Cosmetics. But here we go, coming in close. We can already see some of the bluish purple. Definitely more of the purple. A little bit of the pink at the top there. So just all of the shifts on that one. That would make a beautiful inner corner, would also make a really nice topper shade. Just all the things. So very, very nice. I am undecided on how I want to use that one yet. I think we're going to wait and see how everything else goes, just because I'm not sure if I want to use that as a pop of color on the inner corner, or if I want to go and use it just as a topper on some of the shades. So let's go ahead and continue on. So next up is Belina, which is a nice powder blue matte shade and definitely a very light sky blue and i would say as far as like pastels go decently pigmented but like in comparison to some of the shades that we have been seeing earlier in the week a little bit more on the sheer side but i'm sure that we would easily be able to build that one up and interestingly enough, not nearly as much fallout in the pan as I was swatching that one compared to what we were seeing earlier in the week. So the formulation might be a little different. We'll find out as we continue through and actually get to the eye look, but very curious to see how that would go. Next we have that duochrome kind of shade Essena, which is definitely coming across a bit more like a very sheer iridescent. Let me build this guy up a bit more so we can really see that but has actually a super similar shift at least from what i'm seeing to this first guy as well let's see as we get in oh it is like identical almost with the the yellow to the pinks and the blues and purples in there that is very interesting how similar they are so i would say the shift is the same between the two of them uh, just that it's a different formula across the two. So that is unexpected to me. I was thinking this was going to come across a bit more like a metallic, but it's definitely very much <laughs> like an iridescent topper. <laughs> Alright, then we have the matte shade that is kind of peachy toned Yaskir. And ooh, okay, that is surprisingly pigmented for a peachy pink tone. Very nice. That's not too bad at all. And I mean, as far as like pastel palettes go with a color story, this is looking very pretty. So I'm I'm very interested in how this is going to go with the rest of these shades. I am hoping that in that last row, at least one of these shades is a little bit deeper so we can add some depth to the look. But we'll see. It might just end up being a really, really pastel look. <laughs> then we have another metallic kind of pinky shade, which looks like it might have some shifts to it, but it's Aster. And also swatching significantly lighter than I was expecting. Almost more of like a satin formula on there rather than a true metallic, but definitely has like a pink to blue shift. So you can definitely see that hot pink. And then will the blue show up? I wonder. So you can kind of see ever so slightly that there's something besides a pink going on. It almost looks a bit more purple in the camera, but very, very 
minimal on there. I think because of the fact that the formula is more like a satin formula. So I'm very curious to see how that will end up looking as it gets built up a little bit more because we can from back here you can almost see a little bit of the blue right right there <laughs> almost <laughs> all right so i i have been wrong on the formula for every single one of these aside from the matte shades so far so now we've got convaliovi which to me looks like a burnt rose kind of peachy toned metallic shade we'll see how pigmented it is because like i can't even see it in the camera right now ah okay so it is a very similar formula to this guy where it's more of like a topper. So I'm gonna try and build that up a little bit more. And it doesn't look like it has too much of a shift to it. It is just mainly like a champagne-y, peachy kind of tone. So there you can see it on my, on my arm, but very sheer for both this guy and that guy. So that is unexpected as well, because in the palette, <laughs> In the palette, this guy was looking like it was gonna be almost like a foil shade, and it is also a topper. So I have been wrong on everything so far for today. Then we have a lilac purple matte shade, Fresia, which, okay, almost has a bit more of a bluish tone to it rather than outright lilac. So I would say closer to like a periwinkle shade for that one rather than just an outright purple, but still very, very nice, easily buildable. All right, then we have another shade that looks like it's the same formula as the pink aster shade, and this is Iris, and it's purplish. Ooh. See, this is more what I was expecting from that aster shade. This is a delight. And it definitely, so it has a purplish base to it and then what looks to be gold sheen on top. So you can definitely see that purplish base. And then as I move my arm, you can see that gold shift that is on top, but it's not really a shift. It's more like a, a, a top layer on top of that purple shade, but very, very pretty. Um, that might end up being our deepest shade, or the last one, who really knows at this point? Um, but this is looking very, very pretty, very pastel-y, so one matte shade left, and then we can get into whatever this eye look is gonna become. <laughs> Alright, so to me, this looks a bit more like a plummy type shade, and it is Macheka. I probably pronounced that one wrong as I'm thinking about it. All right, almost comes across between like a plum and a raspberry upon swatching it. Man, this shade is super pretty, this purple with the gold on top. I really wanna use that today. I think that would be beautiful. All right, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do. I mean, this whole color story is very pretty, but many more topper shades than what I was expecting and also many more light tones <laughs> like in the palette it looks like this one's gonna be dark this one's gonna be dark this one's gonna be dark and like they are not <laughs> they are very pastel although I will say that the the last shade looks like it's a little bit darker so how do I want to do this all right here's what I think we're gonna end up doing and we'll see how it comes together undecided so far uh, the top of the lid, I am going to start off with the light blue, then go into the medium periwinkle shade, and then go into the plum for the outside. We'll go into this shimmer for on top, as well as uh, layering on top of the blue, this lighter iridescent. And then for the under eye, we will start off with the kind of pinkish peach tone, and then also go out into the plum shade, and then perhaps just ever so slightly add in a little bit of this like peachy topper shade on top of the matte shade and then for the inner corner go into the pink. That's kind of what I'm thinking to use as many of the shades as possible. I hope it turns out. <laughs> we'll find out but let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right starting off with that light blue shade on the inner third. Oh, 
All right, I mean, for a light blue, definitely decently pigmented, so that's pretty good. And it also, from what I can see, did not go anywhere. There was fallout within the pan, however, on my face, no fallout, which is great because that's definitely a change from the previous matte shades we've been dealing with. So very pleased about that so far. So now we're gonna go into that periwinkle lilac shade right here. Well, it's definitely more of an icy purple than I was expecting, but still blends with the blue lovely and is a little bit more of a lilac tone, definitely, than the light blue is. And so I think it, I mean, those two shades already together, like I feel very Elsa right now. <laughs> so this is very pretty. I almost don't even want to put the other shade on because I'm like, it's going to get rid of that icy quality of it. Hmm what to do no we're gonna do it we're gonna get all the colors in here we're gonna do it and we're gonna like it <laughs> all right here we go into the plum shade You know what, I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate it. Uh, it adds definitely warm qualities to the look because it's it's a very warm toned plum, whereas the the more lilac-y periwinkle shade and the light blue are very cool toned. But I don't mind it. Like I think it, I don't know, I'm feeling this whole vibe right now. Very Ice Princess. <laughs> I do however wonder if for the bottom portion I want to keep that iciness going and then on the inner corner we'll end up using that more peachy tone to warm it up on this side as well but i think for the under eye i'm actually instead of going into the light blue i'm just going to go straight into that lilac-y kind of periwinkle shade and then go into the plum from there just so we keep those cool tones going for the beginning Right, I don't know what it is, but I am really digging this look right now. I'm not upset about it at all. And the shades are blending together beautifully. There is literally half a speck on my nose right now of fallout. And and that is it. And so that is that is awesome. It brushed away in half a second. So Definitely as far as fallout goes, this palette is performing way better than the deeper shades did and so that is awesome. And now we're gonna find out how these metallics go because that's where we're gonna be layering next. So first shade up that we are going to be dealing with is going to be this guy right here that is definitely more of the, the topper shade but less chunky than that first iridescent shade. So we're gonna go just over the light blue with that and then we'll go into the iris shade for over the purple. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, well, with the glitters, uh, they are right back to what they were with the other ones where my face is now covered in glitter. Although I will say it fits the vibe for today, so I'm not mad about that. And this blue looks absolutely beautiful with the blue underneath. I mean, it is just, oh, and it's gonna go into that purple so pretty because of the purple shift that it has. <sighs> I'm not normally a pastel person, which is why this is so unusual that I'm like actually really into this look right now. <laughs> but we're gonna jump into the iris shade next to blend out the rest of the eye and we shall see how this one goes because I have not used this particular formula from Glam Shop yet. So I don't know if a brush is better or my fingers. So we're gonna find out together. Well, um, I can definitively say that I'm not a huge fan of that particular formula. It wasn't going on the way that I was wanting it to. I went back and forth between brush and my fingers and it just, 
I didn't really feel like it was showing up the way I wanted it to. And so I ended up just layering over the top of that more of the, the blue iridescent shade and you can still kind of get a little bit of that purple vibe with the gold underneath. And so I think that's actually gonna turn out pretty nice, but yeah, on its own, I was not really feeling that vibe. We are now just going to throw something on the inner corner and call it a day for this look. And so we are just gonna go into that peachy tone, this guy right here, and see if we can layer that in the inner corner. And if we cannot, then we will go into that pink aster shade. That is definitely very, very minimal uh, for sparkle. I'm gonna ever so slightly dab into that pink shade just to add a smidge more, but we're gonna go in with a very fine detailed brush so that it really is just a smidge. So I actually think adding in that pink shade has an interesting effect because depending on how the light hits it, it either blends in with the blue very nicely or it reflects more of that pink that kind of matches the plummy tone on the outside. So either way, I think that was the correct choice because that kind of tied the whole look together. So I am going to tight line and throw on mascara and then we will see what the final effect is because I kind of feel like my eyes are needing mascara a lot <laughs> so that it frames my eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then we will be back to judge the final ending product. All right, and we are back with the final product. So I'm gonna come in real close for you guys to take a look. So I ended up going with kind of a, a lighter purple liner this time just because I wanted to bring a little bit of the purple back because I feel like for the majority of the look, it's primarily like a, a blue. And so I think this just kind of brings all of those tones back together. I also totally forgot that I didn't even have a lip product on so I threw on some gloss real quick quick just to kind of neutral look and I gotta be honest like I'm kind of digging this look I was not expecting this to turn out this way at all and for me to love it but I kind of do so I would love to know what you guys think of everything I mean the matte shades were absolutely gorgeous on this one definitely very pigmented for a pastel palette for sure shimmers kind of perform the same as all of them do they're very nice but they do kind of get everywhere so again don't do your face makeup first if you want to not have glitter all over the place. But I would love to know what you guys think. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you did not. Let me know as we always do on here. And if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you join my family here on YouTube. We talk about indie brands, really colorful makeup, swatches of everything, and we've got a whole bunch more coming your way. And so if that sounds like fun, I would love it if you would join my family on here. Join us in the comments down below. We get some really good conversations going on makeup. And other than that, you guys should go have a good one.